Hello YouTube, I fix it all here. Team I fix it all. The super split is kinda maybe broke. Um, so I took my cover off and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm wanting wanting to try to investigate why is it when I grease up on my grease fittings on each side here. I always see a big pile of grease right underneath the, the uh, rack. Deep up in there. And it's... <laughs> it's just coming out too quick as soon as I put it in. It's like there's a... Like a seal is blown. Okay, so... I've... Uh, what I need to do is get in this work area down in here i want to clean it all out the only way to do that is to get that uh, rack out of the way so i've gotten one bolt out which is no big deal but i noticed on this the front bolt had no clearance for a box in and i barely got this thing loosened up i was really spooked so i got her loose um, the way I've stared at everything, I've disconnected my two springs that return it. Um, the way I see this is set up is, it looks like I need to take these two bolts out so that this rack slides out the rear. Let's see what we find out. I'll set this up here and hopefully I don't bounce you all around too much. Let me see if I can find something else to set you all on. Maybe this will work. What I'll probably do is grind the face of this back a little bit, just enough to drop in a... Uh, box in wrench right here there's that that bolt stuck That gives me the level room I needed to get the rack out. Okay, I can work with this. in there but gosh is it really grinding take you down there and show you what I can see so far I 
Okay, so I'm trying to target all this gook in this area here. There's a lot of it. But what I've revealed is I've got this Allen loose right here. And I don't know if that gives me a permission slip to now put my puller on here to pull the flywheel off. Or <clears throat> there's another Allen right there. Is this just a collar? A spacer collar between the bearing, which is right in here, and the wheel? Is this just a spacer collar? Uh, there, I noticed there's two Allen set screws. I could just loosen them and see if it free spins, and if it does, then that answers my question. But I need to clean out down in here all this garbage, so I'll be a minute. I'll put you all on pause so you don't have to suffer through all that. So it looks like it's talking to me, telling me I can take this out right here because it's just a uh, pin with a snap ring uh, I believe on either side so all I gotta do is just take one snap ring out yeah and that'll get this assembly out of my way uh, give me more visual aid uh, let's keep in mind, there's, um, I don't have a reason to believe my bearing is bad. Okay? What's happening to me is when I put grease in, I immediately see it pouring out back there. At the bearing, what, what I would call, it's like there should be a seal or something in there, but I don't have any, that was the wheel. Yeah, those are my wheels. I don't have anything that's telling me that I should be diving into this too awfully far. I don't. All I have is what I consider to be a smidge noisy. Let me see if I can keep from losing my hand. Now you hear that? Anytime you hear that in a bearing, you need to be planning preventative maintenance. Am I zoomed in? Yeah. So, I need to just simply explore. I'll take this uh, snap ring out right here. Next, and extract this assembly, which means I get these two bolts. Maybe. And that snap ring. Hang tight. Alright, so... I got the uh, pinion rack lock mechanism removed and here's a chunk of metal that's I got to identify it but now I don't understand I uh, a piece of metal is supposed to be up here keeping the oil from seeping out I believe <laughs> it's a 
I don't know if this is a dust cover or if the outer face of the bearing sheared off or what let me clean the other side's missing because I remember pulling out a piece of metal last fall that was sawtooth shaped now I understand what's going on the face over here is it doesn't have that ring whatever this is because it's already been ejected Yeah, I got to do some more clean out. Hang on. All right, guys, got her cleaned up. And we're looking down into the axle of the flywheels. And I cleaned this up and it became two parts. There's a black piece that fits up in there nice and there's this metal ring that fits up in there real nice and we're right here and right there oops you missed that so all both of these go up there like that and it's perfectly machined out to be living there. Let me wrestle this on there. There we go. And right Here is the bearing. I've got a pointer tool here. This is the bearing, but it's lipped to keep this in place because there's a thing here that is the dust cover. I found this piece a year ago laying on the ground in a sawtooth pattern and I didn't understand what the hell it was it was laying on the ground near the wood splitter and I didn't quite understand where it went I knew it was almost the same color as the machine and now I know where it came from because let's go around to the other side if we look at the other side we still have our black cover, but no metal ring. So the metal ring popped off of this side and got rolled in between the rack and pinion and ejected out the rear. But that's all this is, is a dust cover. That's why I'm losing oil is let me get that off of there and if you look with me real close I want you to focus right in that area right there you can see my ball bearings traveling around exposed to the environment There's nowhere else to get a view of that. Let me clean it off a little. Let's see if this helps. Again, look in that. You're looking right in here. Right in that opening. Right in here. You'll see a shiny object periodically. God, I can zoom. Let 
Nope. I'm gonna try to zoom more. There we go. See those ball bearings? And now that dust cover lives its life in a ridge up underneath this outer race. How do I say that? It's supposed to live right in a lip right in here. Because I can feel the lip. So the dust cover popped off. I will bet you anything that when Paul sourced Paul sourced these bearings, he had no idea that this dust cover was designed like this. Is everything else on this machine? This is a really, really shit design. Um Everything on this machine is built to last. That man... <sighs> yeah. This fucker's been a workhorse. And... To have this... Hold me up. Which... I might... I don't know if I even have a workaround for this. I mean, I just gotta... I can snip this off. Yeah, I don't know. That's too high risk. Because that's turning. I'd have to pop it back in. There we go, I did it. I popped it in with my finger. I have to go all the way around and reseat it. Let me try that. Now, this could have also been user error, as in myself, because uh, being um, former Navy, anytime you had something like this where you had a grease fitting, you added grease until you be just began to see the grease excreting around the shaft or whatever part. Uh, the dust cover, you, whenever you just barely saw grease start to excrete, then you stop. And actually, I may have put too many pumps of grease in and hydraulically blew the cover off. I don't know. All I know is I'm missing this ring on this side because it got rolled up in between the, the rack and pinion. I found it laying on the ground about a year or so ago. This piece here was just flopping around in the wind. I'm going to try to tap it back in, but I think it's pointless. But I don't have, at this moment... I have bearings that are a little noisy. Can I buy another season? I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try to understand from Super Split. Is that just a spacer collar down there? I think it is. Let me pause and loosen it up and see. Hang on. Yeah, so... I got an Allen wrench in there. It looks like that's just a uh, spacer right here. Oops, let me hold the flywheel still. Let me turn it. I do notice that it was perfectly li lined up with the other one's Allen keys. So I don't know if that axle shaft there 
is detented out to receive the set screw or not because I've just tampered with it you know its location but that's the least of my concerns right now um, I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing about all this <sighs> so I know if I take the flywheel out I don't know if the bearing is pressed on the the bearing would have to be pressed into this housing here and then the shaft slides in I would think Um, I was told to look for the weld points where the bearing is tack welded in. So there's a tack weld that I'm supposed to grind off. And they probably did it at four points. Yeah. The, yeah, like the 10 and 2 eight and four you know tap it in square it off tack it in good enough same over here on the other side so if it's so that that gives the well that don't understand this is the outer face steel work that should be holding the bearing that you press in because this is the steel work right here for the machine and then right here is the gap where the outer race is for the bearing spray that off a little bit gasoline and uh, a little white down yeah I'm not understanding why I would need to cut those welds because that's the circular tube steel that holds the bearing that you Is this a snap ring here? Looks like a snap ring. All right. All I need to do is do the right thing. Uh, call. He sure the frig looks like a snap ring. So if that's a snap ring, that would determine the depth, the stop point in which you press in to the steel work. That snap ring would stop you. So that would be the same on the other side. And then you have a spacer collar. And then you have the flywheel. The spacer collar is locked in with Allen heads, which keeps the axle right here inside this box. <laughs> you got a collar that you got a collar there. And you've got a collar there. Once you tighten the set screws down on the collar that locks your axle in place the 
with the bearing. I swear to God, it looks like I just removed the collar. Well, remove the flywheel. Remove the collar. Knock the bearing out of this tube steel that's welded. And put in a new one. And this, this snap ring is used to keep, when the bearing gets put in, it's, it keeps it faced and squared off. And then put the collar on and the flywheel on. I don't see why I gotta grind any welds off. Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, because I can see over here, I've got my inner race. Hmm. All right, so right there's my inner race. Then behind this dust cover is my ball bearings. And then there's my out. Here's my inner race. There's the area my bearings live. Here's the outer race. I don't know about that break and weld stuff. We'll see. That's what I want to make sure. Uh, so I'll know tomorrow. Look for a part two. We shall see you. Bye.